So you are here because you absolutely detest the new download feature and you have gone online to find solutions on how to revert to the old download one. But it is either not working, it did work in the past, but the new feature suddenly reappeared after a Chrome update or the option to turn off the new flag feature is not there in your Chrome totally disappeared. But in this video, I will be revealing to you how to disable the new download bubble feature. Stay with me. Martin's here and I'm a freelancer with over 30k earnings and on this channel, I share freelancing tips and tips on how to make money online. But we'll be doing something a little bit different in today's video. Well, is it really different? I mean, a huge number of us use Chrome, and I'm sure a huge number of us dislike the new feature too. Google Chrome recently introduced a new feature called the Download Bubble, which appears in the top right corner of a browser when a file is downloaded. While some users find this feature useful, others have expressed their dislike for it. Here are some reasons why people dislike the new Download Bubble feature. The first and most common one is the extra clicks. The new download button closes every time you open a single file, adding a lot of extra clicks when working with downloading multiple files. The second one is inconvenience placement. Some users find it inconvenient to have to dart their eyes to the top right of the screen, where they have to click a small box just to see if their downloads are even doing their thing. The third one is the lack of customization. Google Chrome keeps on pushing unneeded features and even removes the option to disable them. Because when the download bubble feature was rolled out, a lot of people went online to seek help on how to remove it, and they found a solution with the flags feature in Google Chrome. But the problem is that flags are always at the mercy of being eliminated. And anytime a new feature is not appreciated, like how the new bubble feature was, the flag to re-enable it will usually go away after a few versions. And sure, Google promptly disabled the option to turn off the new download bubble feature, forcing all of us to use it. Another one is preference for the old download shelf. Some users prefer the old download shelf, which showed each individual file and its unique progress, rather than the progress bar on the bubble, which only shows the progress on all downloads. Overall, while some users may find the new download bubble feature useful, others have expressed their dislike for it due to these reasons. So enough of the talking, let me show you how to disable it. And if you find this video helpful, do well to subscribe to the channel. I post weekly videos, which I am sure you would love to watch and not miss. So let's get into it. The first thing to do is to go to your desktop screen, find the Chrome shortcut and right click on it. Scroll down to properties. If you don't see it or you are on Windows 11, then you may have to click on show more options. Now this is where the trick comes in, so pay close attention. Scroll to the targets field at the very end after the word chrome.exe. Don't delete anything, just add hyphen hyphen disable hyphen features equal to download bubble. The text should be exactly as it is on the screen right now. I'll also be leaving the text in the description so you can copy it out. Make sure you leave a space between chrome.exe in quotes and the text, else you get an error message. There is no space between any other words or symbols, they are all together. After doing this, then click on OK to save it. You may have to grant administrator privilege if you are not the admin of the PC. Now reopen Chrome, and if you did this correctly, then congrats, you have your old download shelf back. If this did not work for you, then this one should. Unpin Chrome from the tags bar, then go to Chrome on your desktop, right click on it, and select Open File Location. Don't close it, make sure to minimize it. If you deleted your shortcut earlier, then don't fret. Just scroll to your system hard drive, which in most cases is C. Scroll to C, Program Files, Google, Chrome, and then Application. Leave this folder open, and then go back to your desktop, and delete the Chrome shortcut on your desktop if you still have it. Now go back to the Chrome folder we opened earlier. Then right click on the chrome.exe file. Then scroll down to create shortcut. And again, if you are on Windows 11, then you may have to click on show more options. After creating the new shortcut, you can now move the new shortcut to the desktop. Right click on it, scroll down to properties, and now enter the text I gave you earlier to the target field, exactly as I said in the first step. After doing that, then open Chrome and your old download shelf will be back if you did this correctly. If this worked for you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you are interested in freelancing or video editing in general, then I strongly recommend that you subscribe and drop a comment if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.